How's it guys? Yeah, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a different episode. Uh, we are not catching fish. The weather is horrible, so we will be cooking fish. Uh, I went out on my last episode. I went out with Jason. Uh, we caught a couple of nice personal best fish for him. He got the, the biggest yellow belly rockers and then also the biggest cob. So that was his two fish that was on the wish list and we managed to get them and then also uh, they were quite a large size and then uh, he got invited the next day by another friend of his <coughs> they went out and he, he caught a showstopper a blue marlin over a hundred kg I'll add some photos and some uh, clips on how he fought the fish and then uh, yeah and then this is it's a trophy fish hey? that's a fish of a lifetime very proud of him pulling that big uh, lump of meat out of the water so yeah and then I, he was so kind and uh, sponsored me a slab of uh, meat blue marlin so we're gonna try and cook that today uh, so I'm on my way to the local supermarket to get some uh, spices and some ingredients and then I'll head down to my best friend Louis uh, he's quite quite good with the the baking of the fish sushi sushimi all that kind of nice things he can make it so yeah I think he mentioned we're gonna make some uh, blue marlin fish patties so yeah stick around guys uh, next stop will be the supermarket and then you will see me shortly with Louis <laughs> Good day guys, my name is Lawrence Jordan. I'm uh, Christo Simon's best friend from Love of Fishing. Uh, today we'll be making blue marlin fish patties. Uh, so the main ingredients that we'll be using will be blue marlin uh, fillet. And uh, we will also be needing some fat-rich bacon. We will also be needing a green pepper, a tomato, a fair bit of garlic, some spring onion, some coriander, and some lettuce. And most important, some Robertson's fish spice. Um, the equipment that we'll need will be a small meat grinder or a mincer, like we call it in South Africa. And then a small patty press. And... Um, we will be needing a heat source to cook the patties in and then we'll have some nice buns to make our burgers with and the oil obviously to cook the patties in okay so to start off with uh, we're going to slice and dice all the ingredients for different parts of the dish so we'll start off with uh, garlic um, there's an easy way to do this get a nice good squash and then we will be removing the bulbs. This is going to go through the mincer, so it doesn't have to be concerned too much about it. It will be mixed up a bit later in any way. As long as you get the skin off. So.
but uh, all the main ingredients are chopped and uh, ready to be minced uh, for the patties. Right guys, the next step will be to make or create patties out of the meat and the ingredients we minced. So I'm going to be using the patty press. And then to start off with, you'll create a small little ball, I would say a half a tennis ball size. Place it into your Patty press. And voila, one is made. Very pretty. <coughs> Right guys, uh, next step will be to switch on the stove. We're using a small gas stove outside. So the correct heat will be a medium heat uh, as it's fish. So we don't want to overcook it because uh, blue marlin gets, a, I would say it's a quite tacky fish. So medium done or medium to well done should be fine cooking it. So yeah guys, we will start up the stove and then we'll go to the next step by cooking the patties. Right guys, what I normally do is I'll just put a small piece of meat into the pan just to test the heat of the oil. If you can see it's simmering already, so we are good to go. Okay, so the next step will be to prepare your tomatoes. Have a nice sharp knife. Don't be shy to cut nice and thick slices. Like so. Like so. Then you can cut your bun like so. So and then your lettuce you can break into pieces like this. Okay, so then you'll have your top of your bread, you'll have a tomato slice and you'll have your blue marlin putty. 
and then uh, you can give it a nice bite. from the same branch in the